Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor Theme Builder video series. In the last video, we learned how to design single page template using Elementor Theme Builder. We designed this single page template in the last video and this template will be applied to all the pages of this website, not for the blog post, it will be for the pages only. You can see the title, the contact form and the services in the sidebar. So this was the template that we designed in the last video. Now in this video, we are going to design a single blog post template using Elementor Theme Builder. Now here on this dummy website, I have three dummy blog posts. Now if I see the blog post using the default template, this is how it will look. This does not look good. So we are going to create a template for this blog post and we will change the layout of the blog post using the Elementor Theme Builder. So let's start with the video. Now here I am already logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Under templates, go to theme builder. Here you will see the previously designed templates using theme builder. Now here you will see the option single post. Click on single post. It says no templates are found for the single post. So click on add new. Now here you will see the pre-designed single post templates if you want you can use them we are going to create it manually so let's close it now here we will first design the title section of the blog post so let's click on the plus sign use the single column let's add some padding just like the single page template we are going to add the title section here we are going to use the background image change it to center center attachment fixed no repeat and cover now let's add some background overlay the black color or maybe this time we are going to use blue color and opacity let's make it darker all right now here we are going to add the title so here you will see the option post title click on it drag it and drop it here now this is the post title let's so let's change the color to the white weight let's say 500 size looks good to me let's add some more padding here to the column let's make it 100 and now let's center align this title now here you will see the title tag is h1 all right now similar to single page template we are going to create two column section for this uh, blog post also so click on plus sign and select this two column section here we are going to add the sidebar for the single blog post now let's add some padding first top and bottom padding right so here we are going to add the sidebar so we will need to create the sidebar first so let's go back to the dashboard Under templates, go to save templates. Here you will see the previously designed sidebar for the single page. Now we are going to create sidebar for the single post. So click on add new, select a section. And let's say name of the template will be sidebar, sidebar for single post. Create template. Now let's close this one. Now let's add the single column here and just like the last time we are going to add title here this time it will be latest post or recently added post let's add background and let's add some padding center line this name it as recent post let's change the style all right so this is the title of the recent post now let's add a recent post so search for post and you will see this option here post 
so just click on it drag and drop it here okay it shows three column this will be in the sidebar so we are not going to use three column so let's use one column here you will see the name the title of the post the short description and read more so here from here you can change the layout if you want to if you do not want to show the date you can simply cross it just leave it as three column and leave the other settings now we are going to add categories so just duplicate this one drag and drop below this and let's say form again and from here search for form drag and drop it here just remove the label add phone number field all right let's change the color of the button now below that we are going to add let's say gallery images if you want to add gallery images you can add gallery also name it as gallery we have just duplicated this one and dragged it here let's add gallery this will be basic gallery and let's say two column and let's add these four images You just need to make some changes so that it will look nice. Okay, so we have got uh, four images there, contact form, and this is the recent post. So let's publish it. All right, now let's go back to the blog post template. In this sidebar, just look for template drag and drop it here now search for sidebar for single post select this one now here you will see recent post now you can see that we have got a recent post in three columns so let's change it to one column so let's go back to this one select the icon change it to one column and let's not show the excerpt here so let's look for the option excerpt just hide it and we do not need to show a read more also so just hide that one also and let's update it okay now this is the sidebar okay now let's publish this one click on add condition and this will be for all singular let's change it to post and all post let's save and close all right now let's go back to the dashboard go to post these are the post so let's click on view on open it in a new tab now here you will see the post the sidebar is here you can see the image the name the contact form and gallery you can make changes to this look you can from here you can simply disable the image also none and use the title as well as let's say excel updated so now we are not showing the image refresh it and you will see only the title and some description of the of the recent post okay now here we do not see the content of the post because we have content on this one here is the content so let's go back to the template and here in this column we need to show the content of this blog post so here click on the plus sign and here you will see post content drag it and drop it here 
Now you will see the content of this blog post. Let's update it. Now let's go back to the post, refresh it. Now you will see the content of the post on this new layout. Let's go back to the list of blog post. Let's see the other blog post. And you will see the other blog post is also in the new layout. Right, you can see that all the blog posts are now customized. Now, if you want to make changes to this look, this sidebar, you can simply go to the sidebar template and make changes here. And once you make changes to this sidebar, it will be shown on all the blog posts. So you don't need to go to each blog post and change the layout of the sidebar individually. It will be shown from this template itself because we are using this template to be shown on the single post template. So this is how you can design the single blog post template using Elementor Theme Builder. Now in the next video, we will see how to design a blog page of the website using Elementor Theme Builder. So that will be archive template that we are going to design in the next video. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.